Well, the 1920s is really interesting from a social economic point of view and the way that people looked, the way that people lived, because there was a huge great divide. The wealthy between the wars lived tremendously well and the poor were incredibly, incredibly impoverished. And that's what we see in this script. Kim Cattrall's character, Emily, being on the um, wealthier side of things and the lover she takes being on the less wealthy side of things. Women's hair was mainly finger waved. They used to kind of pin curl the hair, um, wet set the hair and do it into little waves, neat to the head, or, and they had little bobs. So we've got Kim Cattrall, who's quite a wealthy woman, so she's got a nice little um, short hair, waved. And then, say, in contrast to Romaine, who's got a short hair, but it's not as styled, it's, not, it's just a bit more curly, it's not as styled and as neat and waved as, as, yeah, as somebody that's got more money. It's very important really because for all the characters in this story the shadow of war impinges on all of them and all their actions are dictated to by their past experiences. So this, op this opening just sort of hinting at the trauma of war that they have all felt had to be, uh, had to be done in one kind of 30 second shot. Uh, so that was very exciting and, uh, and daunting really to do today. The special effects team have brought along a big tanker, uh, which is behind me, uh, and they are filling up all the holes with water. They are also supplying the smoke to give uh, a big blanket of smoke, which will be quite challenging with the high winds that we're experiencing today. We also have um, flamethrowers that they're supplying, so there'll be scenes where when our characters are in the trenches, you'll see flames impacting on the uh, the bunker that they're in.